Hi, Derek Briggs, Product Manager for Sagami Rem Sales. Today I'm going to show you how to do an all data file backup on a fan and control on a Sagami Swiss Turn machine. This is a very critical feature for preventative maintenance routines. What you're going to want to do is you're going to use a USB, you're going to place that in the USB slot. We're going to go to our offset screen and we need to turn on parameter write enable because we need to make sure that two parameters are set. Also, the, while you're here, another thing you can check is to make sure your I.O. channel is set to 17 for your USB. Number four, if you set this to a four, is going to be for your PCM CIA card. Zero here is going to be for your RS-232. And if you're using Ethernet connection, it'd be a nine. So we're going to go up to our parameter write enable. We're going to press one. Input, it's going to ask us, are we sure? Yes, we are. We're going to get this alarm. Nope, no need to worry about that. We're just going to go ahead and move forward with what we need to do here. So the first parameter that you want to check is parameter 138. So you type in 138 and number search soft key, okay? All we're going to worry about is bit zero. Now when you're counting parameters is right to left, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight bits on parameters with bits every single time and you always count from right to left starting with zero. So 138 bit zero would be this one all the way at the end, MDP. And we're gonna do a one input, turn that to a one. Now the next parameter that we need to check is parameter number 313, 313. We're gonna type in 313, number search, and we're looking at bit zero again, BOP, BOP. We're gonna change that to a one as well. So. 138 bit zero equals one, 313 bit zero equals a one. Now we're all set with parameters. We can go ahead and go back to our handy screen and we can zero this out, zero input, execute, and we can reset our alarm. No more parameter write enable alarms, we're all set. The next step is now actually outputting those files. So we're gonna go through two phases here. We're gonna actually output some files while the control is on it's gonna do a big backup, maybe 12 files, and then it's gonna prompt you to power the control down. No need to power the main breaker, just the control and power back on. While it boots up, you'll see that it does a backup and we'll go through that. So, step one, we're gonna go back to system and we're gonna soft key arrow right, which is this one here. These are all the soft keys at the bottom. The soft key arrow right until we see all IO. Okay, we're gonna press that. And now we're gonna to continue to soft key right until we see all data. Now, had we not changed those parameters in the beginning of this lesson here, this would not show up as, as an option. So that's why we have to turn those parameters on. We press all data and then we press OPRT and we say F output. And it's gonna give you, oh, change to edit mode, okay? Very important. Make sure you're in the edit mode. F output, and it's gonna give you a prompt here. This operation needs power off. And if there's any files on the card that have the same name, it's gonna be overwritten by default. So make sure, usually when you do this, you want to have a blank USB. So I say, okay, I'm okay with all those things. I'm gonna press execute. And now you'll see output flashing here at the bottom and you'll see your status bar here. You're going to wait. This is going to take a little bit of time. There's a lot of files, a lot of large files. Um, while we're waiting for this, I, I would like to also mention, I highly recommend that everybody does a backup like this on their machine probably once every six months. If you ever, for some reason, uh, get a, a power surge or anything where you lose any kind of memory, this backup is everything to make this control back to where it was. Every file you could ever need, it has all your programs, all your offsets, all your macro variables, all the software, all the anything from FANUC, anything from Sagami. Very critical files on, the, on this backup here. This is also very helpful for REM sales service to help you troubleshoot your machine if you're having issues with software or anything else of that matter. So we finished here, power must be off. Turn on the power again to save your SRAM and your user files. So we're just gonna go ahead Press the e-stop button and we're gonna power down and I'm gonna power back up. And I'll show you once it gets to the proper place, 
Uh, I'll show you when it's saving the files. These files I like to keep on a server somewhere and put a date in a folder um, and maybe zip that file. Um, a lot of times, like I said, our service department will uh, ask you for an all data backup from your machine and this is exactly what they're talking about. All these files are the all data backup. So right here, you'll see SRAM backup and you'll see this counting. So when this equals this, it's going to move on to the next backup. Your user files, this is going to be your ladder, your software, and everything else. Save it to the card, and now your machine will just boot up like a normal boot up, like you would see any other morning, and you're all set. Everything is done. We'll go ahead and show you all the files on the card when it boots up, so you can see what all should be on there. I'm going to release my emergency stop. Now if I go to Program and Folder, I'm going to press Operator and Device Change. And I'm going to press my USB memory. Now this is all the files I just saved. All very important. So take those files off your USB, save them on your server, uh, your company server with the serial number of the machine. Very critical that you keep a, a backup about once every six months or so. Thank you.